How did this infinite universe come into being? What is the reason for the birth of billions of billions of stars? What is the force that leads to all this? There are many theories and arguments to answer these questions. However, there is one theory that is very important and scientifically accepted in all of them. That is the Big Bang Theory. There is some evidence to say that through this Big Bang, the universe began to exist and evolve. Now the question is, what is the real Big Bang Theory? What is the reason for the birth and evolution of this universe? From the beginning of the universe to the present day, as part of this journey, there are many surprising things that we don't know. Let's find out in this video. Thirteen point eight billion years ago, there are no people, no stars, there is no Earth, no galaxies. In the end, no space and time, no light, no physical principles. Everything is empty. That's when this Big Bang started. At that time, a droplet smaller than an atom is formed. That place has some trillion degree temperature with tremendous energy. Space and time were born exactly when this Big Bang happened. Let's stop here for once. We all have a doubt. How did that point come from nothingness? Even science could not answer this. This is the Big Bang theory. After the Big Bang, we can tell what happened, but what caused the Big Bang to happen? There is no answer to what happened before the Big Bang. Now those who believe in God believe that it is impossible for the point that caused the Big Bang to come from nothing. It is said that God made this universe, but science, when there is no possibility of point formation from nothing at all, and it questions how God came. No answer to these two questions. Religion is about beliefs, and science does not believe anything until it has proper evidence and practical confirmation. Both religion and science are true. They are trying to find out what caused the birth of the universe. For now, let's learn about the Big Bang. Galaxy, stars, planets are all types of life. All the energy needed to form is hidden in that point, which is smaller than an atom in size. That little molecule started to grow a little bit. Many people from hundreds of years are confused that the Big Bang is a huge explosion happened in space. But that was not an explosion. In fact, that was an expansion. Like a balloon inflated, the tiny droplet expanded in all directions. Space and time were born exactly when this Big Bang happened. All the present physics formulae were formed. Since there is no time till then, some scientists say that the question of what happened before the Big Bang is meaningless. This is how the universe travels at a distance of 300,000 kilometers per second. It began to expand faster than light. There is no matter in this rapidly expanding universe. There is only pure energy. According to the formula e equal to mc square, as proposed by Einstein, energy can be converted into matter, and matter can also be converted into energy. For example, suppose a bomb explodes. The little matter that should have been there is matter released as energy. Also, here in the Big Bang, it is said that the reverse energy has turned into matter particles. That is, the energy is here converted into matter which means the energy released during Big Bang is converted into matter particles like galaxies, stars, planets, etc. Be a little careful here. When a small bomb explodes, a tremendous amount of energy is released. Similarly, for the billions of stars in this universe and for the formation of planets, how much energy is required to make the matter? Imagine how much energy would have been released. But here, in the energy released by the Big Bang, along with matter, it also produced antimatter, which is its complete opposite. Whenever these matter particles and antimatter particles collide, a small explosion takes place and turns back into energy. If energy is made into matter, and again it becomes energy, there is no meaning in the creation of this universe. Now the stars of the universe must be made into planets. For that to happen, matter particles and antimatter particles cannot be equal. That's why, luckily, both of them were not released at the same time. For every one billion antimatter particles, one billion and one matter particles are made. It means that a matter particle is made extra. Now one billion antimatter particles and one billion matter particles have merged and finally one matter particle is left. Thus the rest of the individual matter particles are all together. Millions of stars and planets are formed in this infinite universe. That's really awesome. Well, 
from the Big Bang to the process we learnt till now, until this stage. Do you know the age of this universe? It's one millionth of a second. That means if one second time is made into 10 million parts. How fast this universe is evolving can be understood. In this short time, the universe has grown from the size of a tiny atom to 60 billion miles long. At this time, the universe has a temperature of approximately 18 trillion Fahrenheit degrees. As the universe expands, this temperature decreases. So in the rest of the matter elements, for the first time, the proton, neutron and electron join together to form the lightest atoms in the periodic table that are the hydrogen atom and, and the helium atom. Now the entire universe is only made up of these hydrogen and helium atoms. There was a smoky cloud. It took 380,000 years for the universe to reach this stage. Now this universe is 100 million light years long. Universe temperature has decreased by 4,900 degree Fahrenheit. These cloudy hydrogen and helium atoms together settled at a position. And here, due to the gravitational force, the other elements surrounding the atoms were attracted, which caused the formation of stars. Due to the pressure and temperature in the center of the stars formed like this, the hydrogen and helium atoms are fused together. And hence some other elements in the periodic table like oxygen, carbon, magnesium, etc. are made. But the heavy elements like chromium, silver, platinum, uranium, gold, etc. that are required for the formation of planets and the elements like zinc, iron, etc. that are required for the formation of life on planets are not yet made. In fact, the power of the stars is not enough to make them. At that time, these stars suddenly exploded. This is called a supernova explosion. The energy released by this supernova produced zinc, gold, and platinum. All the elements are also made in the entire periodic table. After all, the iron in the blood flowing in our body, the calcium in our bones, the oxygen, that we breathe daily. All of these also come from a supernova. Even now, somewhere in the universe, these supernova explosions are happening. Well, the universe is now 900 billion years old. The size of the universe is 3 trillion light years long. Also, the temperature is my 452 degrees Fahrenheit. All the dust and gas created by that supernova explosion started rotating around itself that helped in the formation of galaxies. Millions of stars are formed in each galaxy. In our Milky Way galaxy, the Sun is not the only star. There are approximately 30 billion other and bigger stars like our Sun. The Big Bang theory is more trustworthy than all other theories. There are a few reasons why it's so important. Edwin Hubble in 1920, a scientist looking at the sky with his telescope. He observed that all galaxies are moving away from each other this discovery gave strength to the Big Bang Theory. Because all these galaxies are moving away from each other, that means that in the past, all these were also close to one place. This proves that the universe is expanding from a small region. Also, NASA's WMAP and European Space Agency's Planck spacecraft are all over the universe. They are scanning the universe time to time. It receives radio and microwaves that are constantly traveling through the universe. However, we were all created by a supernova explosion. We are formed due to the dust and dirt related to those elements. It is because of this supernova explosion, our Earth and the creatures on it were born. Not only these planets and stars, but also we, the humans, are part of this universe expansion. All right, friends. In the next video, we shall learn what is dark energy and the dark matter. Share this video to your friends and family and subscribe to this channel so that you do not miss any of our valuable knowledge sharing content on space and universe. See you in the next video.